Hello everyone. Welcome to session 42 of software testing made easy course. In this session, we are going to continue with the software testing basics where I am going to explain the difference between outsourcing versus in-house versus on-site. So what is the difference? Let me explain in detail. So first thing is outsourcing. Second thing is in-house. Third thing is, third term is on-site. So what is the difference between all these three terms? Let me explain in detail, guys. First, I will start with outsourcing, guys. Let's say there is a company and uh, I'll call this company as some ABC company. Now, ABC company has a product, okay? ABC company has a product and ABC company is looking for some other company who can provide some testing services. Let's say there is another company who provides this testing services. Let's say there is XYZ company which provides some testing services. Okay, this company is providing some software testing services, let's say. Now, this ABC company, instead of doing the software testing by its own, it's outsourcing its work to other company. For testing this particular project, instead of testing its own project, ABC company is giving this software testing work to another company case. Now, XYZ company has to test this particular product for this ABC company. So this thing is known as outsourcing, okay? ABC company is outsourcing this testing work to another company. Fine, this is called as outsourcing. What about in-house guys? In case of in-house, this outsourcing will not happen guys, okay? So let's say there is ABC company and ABC company has some product. So instead of outsourcing this software testing work to another company, what ABC, ABC company is doing, okay? It is hiring some in-house software testers, okay? This ABC company is hiring some in-house software testers. And the people who got recruited into this ABC company, they will do the testing. Here, there are no in-house testers. So what ABC company is doing, ABC company is outsourcing the testing work to another company. So this is called as outsourcing. Whereas if the same company has its own in-house software testers, okay? This is called as in-house guys, okay? Just focus on the term guys, okay? It doesn't matter whether this XYZ company is providing testing services or development services. This is just an example, okay? So in case of in-house, the same company is doing the testing, okay? So in terms of testing, the same company has its own in-house software tester so can test this particular application. This is called as in-house. Now coming to the third one, that is on-site, okay? So what is on-site? Let's say there is a company which is ABC and it has a product. So ABC has outsourced the software testing work to another company known as XYZ, okay? Let's say ABC has outsourced some software testing work for testing this particular product to another company known as XYZ, outsourced. But guys, there are a lot of software testers here in this XYZ company. There are some software testers here, let's say, okay? There are some software testers who are working in this XYZ company uh, and uh, they are delivering this testing services. That's fine, okay? Since this particular testing services are outsourced here, the software testers who are part of this XYZ company are performing testing here. But there may be some situation, guys, okay? There may be a situation where this ABC company will invite one or two of this, okay? One or few of these software testers to come to this company, okay, as part of testing or any other thing, fine. So there may be some situation where even though ABC company has outsourced this testing work to another company, there may be some situation where this ABC company may want some software testers to come to their office and work, okay. Let's say here, let's say there is a software tester, software tester one is there, okay. This software tester one is invited to this company, okay? This is a own, a product owned company for performing testing or for some other reasons. So for this particular person, this is an on-site, okay? For this software tester, this is an on-site. This software tester one has went to the on-site, okay? Because uh, he went to the uh, product owned company for doing something. So this is an on-site. So hope you are able to understand the terms now, what is on-site, okay? So let me conclude it. So if a company is outsourcing 
it uh, some uh, any work to another company right that is called as outsourcing okay if a company is outsourcing any of its work to another company instead of doing by itself if a particular work is outsourced to other company that is called as outsourcing but if a company is not so outsourcing any work rather it has its own okay its own people for doing that particular work that is called as in house okay in house here we call as in house software testers something like that okay this company has its own software testers that is in house software testers so now coming to the this model that is on site here work is getting outsourced but but there may be some situation where one of one or few people from our team need to go to the on site okay to the client company or the product owned company for performing the some services so then this place will become on site for this person okay so this place the client company or product owned company will become the on site so this is the own this is the place where he is working but this is the on site okay for st1 this is a place where he is working but for st1 this is a on site okay so if a person from a company goes to the client company then he is at on site guys so these are the terms guys you need to understand okay we often hear this kind of terms in uh, our day to day job so if you have some knowledge about what is outsourcing what is in house and what is on site right it will be better so hope guys you understood the difference between what is outsourcing in house and on site so that's it for this session guys thank you bye